Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S20 series, the S20 Ultra, the S20 Plus, and the small S20. So in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is the way this phone looks, the cleanest render we have so far of this smartphone, the pricing of this smartphone, what do these smartphones are going to approximately cost, and of course, we do have a major leak on all the specs of these smartphones. All this information comes from a bunch of reliable leaksters. So let's dive in and take a look at them one by one and get some information. Now, the very first one I want to talk about comes from uh, Ben Gesking, who is a long time in the game leakster. And he has given us one of the most accurate Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra render. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, as you know, is going to be the largest Samsung Galaxy S20 smartphone. And I think most people are going to end up buying that one, even though it's going to be most expensive. And we are going to be talking about the prices in a little bit. So as you can see by this uh, render right over here, uh, we have a beautiful frontal design. Something It's nothing new, but it's something we come to expect uh, from Samsung devices nice and clean, tiny bezels on both sides and top and the bottom. So we're going to have a gorgeous screen with a cutout in the middle on the top, a small little camera hole. Now the back side is much more interesting. Now, as you can see, uh, we have a rectangle and inside that camera rectangle, we have another, a smaller square that houses three cameras. But on, on, on the outside, inside that rectangle, we have that 100 times hybrid zoom camera. So that's going to be the 48 megapixel uh, super zoom lens we're going to find only on the S20 Ultra. Uh, it's not going to be optical zoom, obviously that's all impossible, but it's going to be hybrid zoom, it's going to be software enhanced, and it's going to be great. And then we have the uh, main 108 megapixel camera, uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and of course the time of flight camera. So we have a total of four cameras and a flash on the back, all this looks amazing. Now let's move on to the next leakster. So this come, uh, this one comes from Ishan Agarwal. Again, a very long time in the game, reliable leakster. Now he has exclusive specifications for the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, S20 Plus, and of course the smaller S20. So you can actually, at this point, do a side-by-side -side comparison and even decide which one you want to get based on this information. All these devices have 120 hertz refresh rate when you have the resolution set to full high definition plus, but you have it at maximum resolution, which is going to be 3200 by 1440, uh, you're going to get 60 hertz refresh rate on the display, but 120 is in fact available on full HD plus. And then you get the screen sizes, the S20 Ultra at 6.9 inches, the S20 plus at 6.7 inches, and the S20 at 6.2 inches. Honestly, even though it's going to have a low price, I don't know why anybody would buy this. Uh, the, the screen real estate to me is one of the most important things on a flagship smartphone. If I'm gonna buy a flagship smartphone, I want the best of the best and the screen size goes into that. So the S20 Ultra and the S20 uh, would be much more uh, desirable choices. Now the processing power is gonna be the same Snapdragon 865 or Exynos 1990. Uh, uh, the Galaxy S20 Ultra is gonna have the best camera setup in this lineup, as you can tell uh, by these numbers. For example, the main camera on the S20 Ultra is 108 megapixels, okay? And the uh, telephoto capability is up to 100 times. But when you look at the S20 and the S20 Plus, uh, they have a 12 megapixel main camera and only have 30 times uh, zooming capability. And beyond that, we have Android 10 on all these phones. Uh, we have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, uh, 4,500 milliamp hours on the S20 Plus, and 4,000 milliamp hours on the Galaxy S20. So again, even though I think battery life-wise they will all perform the same, people gravitate towards 
the larger number, which in this case is 5,000 uh, milliamp hours. So those are the specs we have on these smartphones and they're pretty good. All right, so let's move on to the final topic, the pricing. So the pricing comes from another leakster, Max. Now, every time Max makes a tweet, I usually ignore it, but when he posts a leak, I absolutely love those tweets, all right? So let's take a look at the prices. So he's saying the S20 is gonna be from 900 to 1,000 euros. The S20 Plus is gonna be from 1,050 to 1,100 1, euros. And the S20 Ultra, the most expensive phone, is gonna be 1,300 euros. Now, what you have to do with these prices to convert them to US dollars is first and foremost, we need to know what country these leaks came from, okay? But most countries in Europe have a 20% value added tax in all their prices. So when you say the S20 5G is 900 euros, that includes 20% value added tax inside it. That's something that does not apply in the United States. We do have a sales tax here that you get charged when you actually go and buy something but the prices are advertised without the actual sales tax in the United States, and the sales tax is not as high. It would be 6 or 7% in that range in the United States. So here's what I would do. Uh, I would take that $900 price tag from the S20. I would take out 20% value-added tax. That would leave us with approximately $750. Then I would take that 750 euros, and convert that to dollars, okay? So let me let me ask Google. Okay, Google, convert 750 euros to US dollars. 750 euros equals 831 dollars and 84 cents. So we're looking at approximately 850 dollars for the S20. So let's do the S20 Ultra. So from 1300 dollars, if I take 20% off, and uh, by the way, I'm doing approximations. I'm not doing exact mathematics. Uh, hey Google. What's 20% of 1,300? The answer is 260. 260 uh, euros. Uh, we have 1,050, okay? Approximately. So, okay, Google, convert 1,050 euros to US dollars. 1,050 euros equals 1,164 dollars and 73 cents. Okay, so it's 1,150 dollars, 1,100 dollars in that range. Again, these are approximations give or take 50 or $100, that's the range you're looking at, and those prices are, in fact, consistent with historical pricing of the S20 smartphones. So that's what I want to talk about in this video real quick, just to give you guys an update, uh, specs, pricing, and of course, the way this thing looks. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? And real quick, before we go, um, some people have been asking me, uh, what's the exact date you're going to be able to actually hold and own a Samsung Galaxy S20? So that's going to be March the 13th, most likely. Uh, February the 11th is going to be the release date. That's when uh, Samsung is going to get on the stage in California, and, and they're going to actually showcase the Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Ultra, and the S20 Plus, as well as the new uh, Samsung flip phone. And the same day, uh, towards the midnight, you'll be able to put in pre-orders. Once you pre-order your phone, they're gonna ship uh, by March 13th. Now, historically speaking, some people get these early, okay? Uh, every time I order a Samsung smartphone uh, from their website as a pre-order or a reservation, I get that a few days earlier than the actual release date. So actual release date is March 13th, uh, but I think people will start to get them a little bit earlier than that if you go and order them online via Samsung.com. Try to reserve it as soon as possible to get your hands on it as soon as possible. Okay, but we have some, some time before that actually happens, so we might get some new information. But as of now, the obviously the official release date, February 11th, and the street date when you get your hands on it or when you're able to walk into a Best Buy and just grab one off the shelf, is going to be March 13th. All right, so that was a final word. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. 
And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.